Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. So uh, we'll start by looking at uh, the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied here in the US dollar index. Uh, but we gave most of those gains away in the end of the session. And uh, the reason for that is because we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. So that is very interesting because every time, single time this gets out of the side of the bullish band, it basically breaks down to the downside. Also, when we go to the bottom, it basically rallies. So we can see it here, we can see it here, and you can go all the way back. And it doesn't have to be several candles. It only has to be one candle that is outside, and then it basically breaks down. So most likely, we'll break down towards the middle, and that middle is here at the 90.31. And if that breaks, then we'll go all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band at the 89.55. Uh, technical indicators are still bullish, so um, it probably could take a few days before this breakdown. And that will have high, major implications for, for example, gold and oil and so on and so on. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we have broken to the very highs here. We went way outside of the bullish band, all the way up to 50 dollars for oil and at this moment we are expecting a pullback from here so um, yes oil has been rallying off the uh, 15, uh, 20 exponential moving average now for a very long time and at this point i expect a pullback towards the 20 and then a rally all the way to 60. Uh, yes that sounds very strange but yes this is where this market most likely is going to go we're most likely going to trade between 60 and 50 or 45. So in the 10 or $15 range in the near future. If we break 60, then we can go significantly higher. There is no reason for this market to be here at all. Demand for oil is uh, declining all over the world and will be even bigger decline as, people, as economies are going from fossil fuel over to green energy faster than any time basically in history so just keep that in mind most of this was basically stimulus vaccine uh, optimism that could fall apart at any point so technical indicators are very bullish but um, at this point we're way outside of the bullish band so a break below towards the middle of the bullish band here at the 52 that is very likely so let's look at natural gas So natural gas broke significantly to the upside all the way up to $3 and then broke down. So we were way outside here of the bullish band, significantly overstretched. Uh, technical indicators are uh, very bullish still. Uh, so as long as the weather conditions in the United States are uh, really bad in the East Coast, very um, a lot of snow and very cold, basically in the, in the Northern Hemisphere overall, then this market will prosper. However, this is a dreadful candlestick here, and usually this means that we're going to fall completely to the downside. So this was not unexpected, a, pull, a rally towards $3, um, but due to the fact that we did not stay there or we had this massive pullback here, that is not a good sign. We could fall towards the middle of the bullish band. We could also fall all the way down to the 200 moving average at this point. So be aware of this market. There's no reason to enter it either with a short or a buy at this point because we are basically in the middle of nowhere at this point. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly underneath the bullish band and pulled back from there. So last time we were in this situation was way back here in the beginning of october and uh, when we went outside of the bullish band and underneath the 50 moving average we had this massive rally from 2.8 all the way to 2.7 3.7 so this could be um uh, basically a beginning of a next rally in copper um, technical indicators are not supporting that at the moment so we need to break the 50 and the 20 exponential in order to go high. First target is 3.7. No interest in basically shorting this in a moment because we are it is basically holding this area. And as long as that is the case, uh, it is not going to break down. So let's look at gold. 
So gold market got absolutely hammered today, but still my analysis is still a holding. We can see that we have this upper trend line here. We can get rid of the Bollinger Band. So we also have the lower part here and we have pierced the lower part and then rallied above it yet again. So we have been trading and trending into this corner we did have this rally here basically a false rally broke down quite significantly and now we're trending into this corner and at this point we are going to break to the upside or break to the downside downside opens the door to to 1800 and uh, 1750 and the upside opens the door to 1900 and 1950 and 2000 and beyond that I do favor the upside due to the fact that there is going to be a lot more stimulus, a lot more spending, a lot more printing of money, and a lot more um, quantitative easing, and therefore this market should go higher. But wait until we break that uh, this resistance line. That will be an indication that we are about to go higher. So let's look at silver. So silver rallied significantly yesterday so uh, news uh, rumor has it that uh, the reddit uh, channel uh, or group um, invested in uh, silver and that basically made this parabolical move from roughly 24.8 dollars all the way up to 40 40 dollars 30 dollars sorry and today we broke down quite significantly, found support just above the 20 exponential moving average, which was expected. Break below the 20, opens the door to the 50, and that is massive support. So uh, a pullback, uh, a rally from the 50 is a major buying opportunity, but this move was never going to be sustainable. We were very overstretched. If you look at the bullish bound, we were way outside, and therefore we should always have fallen down. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for this market. There is a lot of resistance here and a lot of support here. So we are going to see a gradual grind towards $30 in the future and not these parabolical moves here. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has fallen towards support here at the 20 exponential found. Um, yes, and if this holds, then it's basically a buying opportunity. Break below that, opens the door to the 50, and that is even a better buying opportunity. There's no reason to expect this market to break down completely. Uh, the question is, what is the best uh, buying opportunity at the 20 exponential or the 50? Technical indicators are not turning around yet. You can look at the one hour chart and the four hour chart and, and the stochastic there and to determine when this is going to uh, rally to the upside. But if it falls to 50, then definitely the buying opportunity Stop loss right on underneath here and the target of these very highs. So let's look at platinum, pallium, sorry. So we can see that we fell quite drastically on Monday. We're still trading within this uh, square. This uh, analysis is still holding. So we have the highs here of 2.5, the lows at 2.2, and we have hit the bottom here. And now we're going to see a lot of choppiness and most likely a rally up towards the 20 exponential at 2.3, then the 50 at 2.35, and then beyond that all the way down up to 2.2. So we have been rallying, falling down, rallying, uh, declined, and so on for the past few months, and it looks like we're just going to continue in this fashion. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have broken down uh, and then rallied, but still, it does not look like we are going to rally above the 20 exponential or the 50. It looks like we are going to test these previous lows, and if that breaks, then it opens the door to 1900, then to 18, uh, 19, 1850, then to 1800, and then to 200 moving average. Technical indicators for uh, aluminium are looking dreadful at this point, but it looks like we are going to go even lower here if you don't manage to break the 20 or the 50 then that basically means that we are going to go even lower so it'll be a um so it depends on basically where where we should enter this uh, uh, where basically we'll find support so it's just a matter of waiting so look let's look at nickel so as you can see, we found support quite here, right at the 20 exponential. Break below that, opens the door to the 50 at 1758. 
Uh, technical indicators are looking dreadful at this point, so we could actually go all the way down to the 50. And if we do, that is basically a major buying opportunity. It doesn't look like we are going to rally from here come, uh, when looking at these technical indicators. Uh, 20 has been very supportive, but we have broken eventually down to the 50 in several locations here. So this may be a continuation of these moves. If you do so, take uh, stop loss right underneath and uh, uh, take profit of these very highs. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we continue this rally. Um, if you want to enter this market, you entered it here. At this moment, it is too late to enter this market. You should wait until it falls back towards the 20 or the 50 in order to enter this market for a buy. We are in an uptrend. We have been here for a very long time and sometimes it has been very, very choppy. But major pullbacks have followed by major rallies. So right here and right here. At this moment, it does not look like we're going to have a major rally. We're just going to see something similar to this. But we need a pullback in order to enter this trade. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, we are right here at the 20 exponential. It looks like we are getting ready to rally. You can see the stochastic turning around here. 20 exponential is holding. It's too far of a move to the downside here to the 50. Uh, I think that we are going to see a rally from here. A stop loss run and read at 0 0.79 and a take profit of roughly 0 0.82. And that should be a fairly good trade. 20 has been very supportive all the way down here. You can see occasionally we have broken down to the 50, but at this point, it looks like 20 is still holding. And as long as that is the case, it is most likely going to rally to the upside. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa has rallied above the 50 moving average, broken down again, and we're still above the 50, but we need a clear signal that we're going to trend upwards uh, towards uh, 2.75. Uh, at the moment, we're still just doing more of the same, trading in between 2.8 and the low mark here at 2.2. So we need a clear signal where this market is going in order to enter this market. So last but not least, it's wheat. So we have been all over the place the last few, few days. Um, at the moment, it's not a good um, uh, to enter this market. You should wait until it, if it falls down to the 50 moving garbage, that should be major support. And if we manage to rally from here and take out these previous highs. Technical indicators are all over the place. Uh, Stochastic is, bare, is uh, flat. MACD is bearish. CCI is bearish and so is the RSI. So it's a matter of waiting until we get close to the 50. If that turns around, then there's a buying opportunity. We are still eventually in an uptrend. It's just a, lot, a very choppy at the moment, actually trading sideways. So hope you found this helpful. If you have questions, just uh, write to me on Patreon. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much. Mm -hmm.